Hey everyone, I'm Ola and today we are going to play my cafe recipes and stories. In this video I'm going to tell you about the new feature at the festival. This is that you can cancel your tasks that you have taken and also about different tactics that will help you progress in festival faster and to take even more tasks. So let's go! So we all know the situation when we take a task at the festival but realize that we can't fulfill it. So we have to cancel it, spend 50 diamonds or try to make it till the festival ends. And it's not so bad when the task is the last one, but when you have just started it becomes a real headache to fulfill all the tasks and to bring trophies to your township. You have probably noticed in the last festival that some tasks have become even more complicated. You need to get several gifts or to prepare several recipes with certain spices, etc. etc. For these tasks you will need a lot of spices, tickets and luck. So now I want to share my experience, how I usually take part in festivals. Which tasks are taken first, which should be taken with caution and how else you can spend 50 diamonds and save your trophies. So first of all I take a look at all tasks that I have at a festival. I notice which spices and ingredients are needed and look at the trophies rewards. Then I usually take tasks which require to earn coins in any way. They bring good number of trophies, they let me earn tickets and simple gifts and also they give me knowledge of which spices my customers want. Then I can take tasks with spices safely knowing that I can fulfill them. Tasks with spices are very profitable. Sometimes so, we lack special orders with those spices. Then you can do the following. If you have VIP level 1 till 3, you can ask your customers to change their special orders from 1 to 3 times per day. You can change their orders up to 20 times per day with VIP level 4 and up to 50 times per day with VIP level 5. But even if you don't have VIP, you can look in the township orders because sometimes they also contain orders with spices. Also, all special orders refresh every 3 hours, but you need to leave the game and enter it later. If you just sit there and wait, no miracle will happen. Just give your customers some time on their own. Besides, if you take a township order with the spice, you can assign your staff to it. Fulfill a special order and take a little break from the game, as your staff will do all the job for you. Meanwhile, you can take another task, which requires fulfilling phone orders, and a part of the job will be done already. The same works with tasks requiring to sell some ingredients, like mint, ice or chocolate syrup. Phone orders are the most convenient way to fulfill them. If you don't have a suitable phone order, then you can refresh the order starting from 10 diamonds, or wait for 12 hours if you have time. Just bear in mind that township orders can't be refreshed if you have already taken them from township. To get new township orders, you need to fulfill the previous one or to cancel it. Anyway, it takes 24 hours to refresh a township order, so be careful there. Your staff can also fulfill the task of selling a number of dishes in the cafe themselves, just don't forget about them totally and track their progress sometimes. When you are done with the task for spices or special orders, you can try taking a task to get a gift or several, so read the description carefully. You need to be prepared for this task. Collect tickets for daily bonuses. The more tickets you have, the higher is the chance that you will get a gift or even several gifts during the weekend. Just bear in mind that the rewards and daily bonuses change every day, so this task requires some luck and a lot of tickets. A good question is where to get this number of spices for special orders. For that, you need phone orders, spices booth and VIP spice store. If you have reached the limit there, then you also can refresh the booth or store starting from 10 diamonds. It's cheaper than canceling a task and losing some trophies. There are some really difficult tasks which require a lot of luck. Find coins and gifts, win dice from Margaret or get a gift. I highly recommend taking them in the last turn because there is a high chance that you can't make it. Also, take tasks for selling stuff to Carl or winning dice at higher levels. It won't be so hurtful to sell an expensive item or even several and it will be easier to get the required amount faster. And now we are approaching my least favorite task. The most difficult task for me is to find coins and gifts. It's absolutely random which contents are different gifts and even in more expensive ones. So, if you decide to take this task, then you have to be prepared. When you get a number of simple gifts or you have won a pink or blue gift, just don't rush to open them straight away, but save for this task. Sometimes 15 simple gifts are enough and sometimes even a number of blue and pink gifts can save the situation. So you need to have a hell lot of gifts. Be cautious with this task. 
Also guys, I was ordered to announce the winners from the Instagram contest, my cafe hug. So actually I had to repeat the picture and win a thousand diamonds or 500 diamonds, a set of gifts and 500 VIP points. Wow, that's really a lot. So you actually were very creative, guys. There are actually 1,379 posts like that. They are really nice because you were hugging your kids, you were hugging your dads, your brothers, your girlfriends, your beloved ones. You were just showing us your attitude and face. You were hugging your pets. And I hope you did enjoy it too because hugging your beloved ones is one of the greatest things we have on earth. But actually, the sense of this contest was actually to repeat and try to be as closest to the original picture as possible. At least you had to copy the clothes or the main composition. This is why we have chosen three winners and we couldn't actually choose between them. And some of you posted really nice pictures, but they were actually posted later than September 6th. And if you have enjoyed this contest, please write that in the comments and we will try to make more of that. If you haven't won, still don't be upset because hugging your closest people or pets or even your favorite toys or a random thing, at least hugging is really great. And actually, this is it. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, then please put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's play together. Don't forget to click the bell to get all the news about the game from my videos. I have also chosen five best comments under my previous video about the update. The list of them is right here. And thank you very much for your comments, guys. And if you also want a pink gift, please write a comment below this video and include some really good ideas ideas about the game or about my videos. Don't forget to leave your player ID, which is a combination of numbers, in the bottom left corner of your game settings. And actually, this is it, and I wish you good luck at the festivals, and see you next time! Bye-bye!